Hello, uh, I'm gonna show how to use uh, Google SketchUp on an iPad. First you need a program called Remote Remoter VNC, Remote Desktop. And it's available in the App Store. And uh, uh, I think it's on sale now for yeah a dollar and then in that program you need to buy a in-app purchase uh, RDP add-on because uh, you are going to control a Windows computer that uh, Google SketchUp is running on uh, unfortunately there isn't uh, SketchUp cannot run on an iPad natively but uh, I actually found this solution to work very well. Let's start Remoter VNC. There, I've already put it in. Yeah, this is what most uh, remote control programs looks like. And you control them by tapping on the screen and go to menus and stuff. But uh, I, I found that not very good because uh, the desktop isn't made for touch screen and the menus is small and it's hard to hit and stuff. But that's the thing that is very good with Remoter VNC. It uh, has a trackpad feature. There. Here, you can get up a trackpad, so you can control the mouse with the trackpad here. Here is the left mouse button, the right mouse button, and the middle mouse button, and a slider here. So, let's start, let's start Google SketchUp, and it's very nice to hold the iPad like this and work. So now I have SketchUp running. I'm gonna close that. I'm gonna open a file first to see how well it floats on it. I have the hand here. See, as you can see, it's very smooth. And I can press the middle button and rotate. But let's do something useful. Let's make just something in SketchUp so I can show you how it's done. I'll take this and I start drawing a square. I want it to be 3 times 3 centimeter. So I just draw it and let it go. Bring up the keyboard and type 30 colon. 30 or semicolon 30 press enter and then it becomes 30 times 30 millimeters so I take this here zoom in and I want it to be one centimeter tool so I take that tool there also take it type in 10 10 enter there it's uh, now 10 millimeters tall and I only want half of it so I take the arch tool there and then I take the extrude tool and remove that so Now I have a, a piece of cake almost here and I want a hole in it and I want it to be one centimeter in from let's take escape there I did wrong I want it to be one centimeter in from this uh, I just type 
10 on the guide. There. And I want it 10 here, but now I already have one, so now it locks automatically there. And then I want a hole in the piece here. And yeah, six millimeter radius on that hole is good. And I actually want it to be extruded six millimeters there. And now I want a hole in that hole, so I just use the offset tool. And let's take eight there. And I want that hole to go through. There. And edit the little guides. Now I have made a little piece here. Yeah, it's just a little test piece. Now I'm gonna export it to STL so I can print it. Uh, here is my Ultimaker. And now the heat is up. So let's start the print. Yeah, so there you have it, a plastic piece designed in Google SketchUp on an iPad.